my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the Hesse. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's starting today. You and I will work together to prepare ourselves for the math portion of Hesse. We'll try to not, not try to, we will do every single math problem that you will find in this book to get ourselves, as we said, ready for the exam. Let's begin, shall we? Let's begin our journey. Today is our day number one. Here is the tag, HESI Math Day 1. The story begins on page number two. Please turn to it. Now, if you do not, one more time, if you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You are going to need it. There is no such thing as preparation preparation for HESI without this book in your hand. This is the Bible, you understand? It says Admission Assessment, Exam Review, 3rd edition. You can find it anywhere. Let's begin. Page number 2. By the way, the math on the HESI, let me just uh, take, a, take a brief uh, moment here to uh, talk a little bit uh, uh, relevant material. The math on the HESI that you will encounter the math on the on the HESI that you will encounter is very similar to the math that one encounters on T's. I have already done the entire series on math videos on T's. There are 80 videos, day 1 to 80. So if you need any extra help, if you need some more exercises, if you need to work on some more problem, if you feel that what they give you in the book is not enough, you want to some, do some extra work there, they are all there from day number 1 to 80. And as I said, the math on HESI is very similar to what you will encounter on T's. Let's begin. Day number one. Page number two. The first topic that we have on page number two is called, is labeled basic addition and subtraction. And that's exactly what it is. It's very simple, very straightforward. For example, if we are given a number here, 794, 794, well, 794 is so called because it's made up of seven one hundreds. 90, 90 tells us that we have nine. 90 tells us that we have we have nine nine tenths, and we have four we have four ones. Seven seven one hundred seven one hundred. That's 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 probably why it's called seven hundred. Seven hundred and ninety four. That's seven. That that you that that digit that tells us how many hundred we have, that digit that the digit that tells us how many hundreds we have is simply called hundreds digits. Logically, obviously, it's called hundreds digit. This digit is going to tell us how many tens we have. Ninety has nine tens. Forty has four tens. Sixty will have six tens, and so on and so forth. Nine tens. So this is called logically tens digit because it tells us not digits tens digit because it tells us how many tens we have and finally this right here four tells us how many ones we have we have four ones ones are called ones digit some people call it as ones digit and some people refer to it as unit digit either way is fine Either way is fine. You can refer to it as ones digit because it tells us how many ones we have. If it ends in a seven, that will have we have seven seven ones. This one has four ones, four ones, nine tens, and seven one hundreds. So there we go. Unit digit, tens digit, and hundred digit. Let's begin our process now. Most of the stuff that we're going to come across in these videos. This is the material that you have learned already many, many moons ago in your school years in 3rd and 4th and 5th grade. Uh, this is just to refresh your memory. There is, not, there is hardly going to be anything that is going to be brand new to you. You already know it. You just need to practice this question so that you don't struggle during the exam. Do you understand? That's, that's the idea. Here we go. Number one. Example number one. 462 we are told. And we are to add. 133 to it. Very straightforward, very simple. There is nothing to it. 2 plus 3 is 5. 6 plus 3 is going to be 9. And 5 plus 1 is going to be 5. 595. Let's do one more. 
835 plus 559. This is going to get a little tricky because we're going to have to carry something, but that's okay. 5 plus 9, 5 plus 9 is 14, 5 plus 9 is 14, 4, and then whatever that you're going to carry, don't try to remember in your head, put it down here, put it down here, carry one, like this. That will remind you that you need to add that one at the end. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9. And finally, 8 plus 5 is 13, we don't have to carry anything, the answer is 1394. 1394. Let's go on then. Number 3. Example number 3, on, we are on page number 3 now. I believe. Example number three on. But well now we're going to do subtraction. Example number one for subtraction. And we are on page three. This will form page two. 462 minus. 5,000 5,234 minus 4,102 Don't try to rush through it. We're not in a hurry. We don't have the train to catch. Just, just relax and enjoy yourself. That's the idea. Yes, I did say enjoy. Don't, don't walk in there with the right attitude. Don't look at it as a chore. Do one or two videos a day and before you know it, you'll be all done. In the entire series, in the entire series, I expect that we'll probably have maybe 50 videos, maybe 60 at the most. So 60 videos, if you do two a day, you'll be done in a month. Okay, here we go. 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And four mi 5 minus 4 is 1. Very simple, very straightforward. Nothing to it. Very straightforward. Let's do the next one on the same one. Example number two. Dealing with subtraction. 557 minus 29. Now this is where this is where you have to pay attention. Don't, as I said, don't try to keep something in your head. Don't try to remember remember what happened in the story. Write everything down. Jot everything down. It only takes a split second. For example, here, we can clearly see that we cannot subtract 9 from the 7. Since nine cannot take the, since 7 cannot take the 9 by himself, he goes to his neighbor and says, well, can I borrow, can I borrow a 10? You got 5 of them here. For this 5 tells us how many 10s we have. You got 5 of them. You can spare one, can't you? So he borrows one 10 from this guy. And this guy, as soon as you borrow one from this guy, it becomes 4. Cross it out and put a 4 on top of it. To remind yourself, this is not we're not this is not carry four. This five became a four. That's what that is. So now the, he borrows ten and he becomes seventeen. Seventeen minus nine is six. Now remember, this guy is no longer five. He became four because he gave ten to this guy. So now four minus two is two. And then finally four. Straightforward, simple. Something has gone drastically wrong because in my notes I have eight here. It should be eight because. 17 minus 9, 17 minus 10, 17 minus 10 would have been 7. 17 minus 9 should be 8, not 6. What the hell is the matter with me? If you're beginning to wonder if this guy is making mistakes in the very first video, what the hell is going to happen down the road? Well, you are in good company because I was thinking the same thing. Bye now.